Okay, guys, so we'll quickly be looking at what is known as a male and female pseudohermaphroditism. Male and female pseudohermaphroditism. So, for these uh, two types of hermaphroditism, yes, you know that one happens in the females, one happens in the males, right? So, there are some slight differences. That's why at least you guys will get to understand it. So, uh, for female hermaphroditism, it refers to a condition where an individual has ovaries, but it's now developing some external genitalia that is resembling that of a male. You get? I couldn't actually bring all those pictures here because um, um, YouTube can now ban us because um, we are using this thing sexual images you understand they don't know that as medical professionals who actually study these things so um this condition can result from various causes sometimes it's genetic factors hormonal imbalances abnormalities in how the body is trying to respond to hormones during fetal development all right so causes is congenital adrenal hyperplasia it's a common cause where the adrenal glands are now producing excess androgens. Then we have the androgen insensitivity syndrome. This is a condition where the body cannot respond towards androgens. So it's leading towards female external genitalia despite um, having male internal reproductive um, organs. That one, we'll discuss it here. All right. So that one is under male pseudohermaphroditism. Yes, then um, we have the 5 alpha reductase deficiency. So and it's a rare genetic condition where the body cannot convert testosterone to a more potent one. That's what dihydrotestosterone, leading to underdevelopment of male external genitalia. That one to is male uh, pseudohermaphroditism. So symptoms is ambiguous uh, uh, genitalia, excess body hair, that's hirsutism, masculine features like your voice should be deep. Fertility, infertility, sorry. So having an inability to what? Conceive. Right. Come on, let me see something. Okay. Then there's um, absence or irregular menstrual periods. Okay. So for the males now, it just refers to a condition where an individual has testes but develop external genitalia that resembles that of a female. It's just like opposite. It's opposite, you understand? So this one is usually from genetic factors, hormonal imbalances, abnormalities in how your body is responding to hormones when you're developing. So androgen sensitivity syndrome is the main guy here. This one, you have androgen quite all right, but your body is not responding to it. Your body is insensitive to androgen. You understand? So you have internal organs of males, but outside you are developing an external genitalia that is looking like what? Female. Five after alpha reductase deficiency. This one is a rare genetic condition where the body cannot convert what? Testosterone to a more potent form or more useful form, which is known as what? Dihydrotestosterone. Okay? Symptoms is the genitalia will be. It will be big. It will be looking like that of female, but not completely female. You understand? Excessive body hair. They will be having your masculine features. Deep voice, increased muscle mass, and all of that. But you check your then genitalia is looking like that of a female. Eh? Then such genitalia cannot conceive. Eh? Then, yes, they will not be having menstruation because they are not typically women. You understand? So that was the differences between male, uh, female pseudohermaphroditism and male pseudohermaphroditism.